man has always battled nature in a bid to conquer it. I'm explorer Ed Stafford, and I've put myself through extreme tests of endurance and isolation to become a survival expert. I want to evolve, to take things a step further and find out what I'm really made of. So I've decided to go up against the world's toughest survivalists. It's not about beating my chest. It's about taking my skill set to the next level. In the most authentic, realistic survival challenge possible. This time, I'm up against military survival legend E.J. Snyder in the unforgiving jungles of Northern Thailand. EJ, he's a ranger, he fought in the Gulf War. He is up there as one of the world's best. OK, guys, welcome to Northern Thailand. This is where we're heading for. This is where you're going to get picked up. What's the main threats? Plenty of scorpions, plenty of king cobras. There are tigers out there. Well, that makes it interesting. They need to negotiate their way down through some steep cliffs to a river and then head downstream for about 50 to 60 kilometers. This will take them to their exfil point, which is a dam on the river. EJ, your start point. Best of luck to you. Thanks, Woody. I scratch my head and wonder why on earth you would want to live on this planet if you didn't want to become the best version of yourself. I'm very keen to win and also keen to see, in terms of my peers, where do I stand? Am I going to beat them? I just don't know. I'm risking a mechanical injury, but I could gain a lot of time just going straight down here in a safe manner using the techniques I know. As soon as I get to the bottom of this thing, I can start breaking south towards the river. Come on, let's pick up the pace. Come on. Yeah! <sighs> I'm using the sun to navigate. That's an amazing reassurance as I'm coming down that I'm heading in the right direction. That's just super thick. I can hear it. We've got water. As tempting as it might be right now to just drink straight out of the river, I'm going to excavate just a little well at the side and then I'm going to take my first drink. Hopefully all of the water will be filtered by the, the soil and the sand and the silt and um, be clean enough to drink. <laughs> it's still got silt in it but it is so good to drink. <laughs> oh, this is a score right here. What that indicates to me <laughs> is that there's probably a wood grub in here. Uh, wow. So if you want to get gold, you got to start digging. <sighs> I'm not finding the wood grubs. I need food. I want to get every bit of protein I can get. Okay, I'm done looking for wood grubs. <laughs> makes me mad. I'm not finding what I'm after. I need to get some food. Snake! Nope. Come <laughs> I got me some dinner. Much needed protein. It's gonna give me edge on the race. I'm so happy. The river is stronger than it looks. However, up there through the trees is a banana plant. I can use it as a flotation device and float down river. Two of these are smaller, they're going to go under one arm, the bigger one under the other arm. I'm going to float down the river, feet first. By using the river's speed, by harnessing the river, 
um, I could make some big progress. It's working. It's just about buoyant enough to keep me afloat. Happy days. Woo! Jackpot, baby. Banana tree. <laughs> but I'm gonna try and get a drink out of it. gonna help me stay ahead of Ed because I'm gonna stay hydrated and fed. And inside of this thing right here, heart of palm, food. I'm gonna survive on the fly and this is how I'm gonna do it. I got you, Ed. I got you. I've had it with the river, so let's just go up and over this boat. So I'm just hoping again to try and make up some more ground. We're back onto a, a game trail. This morning has been incredibly good progress. There's a little noise down there. I'm thinking at best I got two and a half hours of sunlight, so I've got to get this fire going. I've got to process that snake right away and get it cooking so it doesn't spoil because of the humidity. I may be 50 meters away from him. Sneak around EJ and take the lead. Yeah. That would be a very good end to the day. Yeah. See you later, EJ. No going on. I'm in the lead. He's making a fire. Almost. We're gonna get fire. Yes. Eddie stops. <laughs> EJ might be snuggled by a fire tonight, but he's behind. And that is everything. And I like my steak well done. Mm. Tastes like chicken. It's very tasty, it's meaty, it's got great flavor. It's really good. But this is a game changer because this is going to give me a lot of energy to keep pushing through. I've had a hard, hard day today. I don't know where Ed's at. I know he smoked too, and that gives me a chance. Maybe I can turn a negative into a positive. And all I'm gonna do is set a very, very simple deadfall trap. What I've done is just put the vomit on the trigger. That will dislodge that stick there, and the whole of this big log here will Combustion down. I just need to sleep now. I've got to sleep. <laughs> Look at that. There is a rat in my trap. I think I should have known that if you bait a trap with vomit, you're going to attract rats. One flat rat. Oh, leg of rat. Mate, that is succulent. <laughs> that is probably good. It's got an edge to it. Maybe that's because it's got my vomit inside it. The jungle has birthed a mountain in front of me. I gotta make a plan. I need to figure out a way around this. 
Hello? Ed, you in there? <laughs> That's where I'm going. Into the abyss. This place is huge. I can't go in there without a light I gotta see. I'm gonna try and figure something out. I am utterly determined to win. This gully is the way that I'm gonna beat EJ. Ooh. You can see the gully walls are becoming vertical at the side, which is not a good sign. I'm getting slightly uh, pinned in between very, very sheer faces. So we kind of got to do it, otherwise we'd have to backtrack and lose a stupid amount of time. It's generally heading in the direction I need to go. South. But I don't know, you can get lost in caves, but there could be some food in here. Rats, snakes, they all come in here. Well, I see trees. I got a way out. I finally got a break. It's an ant's nest. There's a risk that they'll bite me, but I think that risk is worth taking. Wow, look at them swarming. If all I've got to do is put up with the stings, which it's worth it, because I can get a serious amount of protein in now. They do genuinely taste like sherbet. It's like lemonade. Ow! Ah! They do spray acid. Everyone that's biting me is going to get eaten. Payback. Look at that, for a start to the day, I feel absolutely charged and ready to go. That's obviously the east, which is just navigational confirmation for me that as I hit the river, I just need to follow it southeast towards the dam. That is a good omen. I don't know if he's taking a different track than I. It's always that thing, not knowing where the enemy is, it gets you. Look, look, look. Boot prints. This is Ed, and this is his cameraman. Guaranteed. See how this heel is still filled with the water? Ed's not too far ahead of me. This tells me that. If this was a older track, the water would already seep back into this puddle over here. I gotta catch Ed. I think I'm gonna make a raft. We've reached a situation where we're literally having to rock climb around the banks. Ah, more haste, less speed. It's a huge gamble. Hope it pays off. See if it can hold an ogre. I could do this all day, as long as these logs hold together. We just took one final look at the tracker. They were nearly two and a half kilometers out. At the moment, they're neck and neck. It's like racing with a blindfold on. I haven't got a clue where EJ is. I don't know whether he's ahead of me or behind me. I just want to push as hard as I can. I can see the dam. I can see the dam. <laughs> Come on. Yeah! I still do not know whether I'm actually the first man out or not. You are the first man out. Well done, Ed. Amazing effort. That was amazing coming up there. I'm exhausted. I've had to dig very deep. This was certainly a challenge. It's not just about beating EJ, but it's about pushing myself as a person. It's about putting myself through challenges that I don't know whether I'll be able to overcome. 
well really done. know how to throw well a party, done. man. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Ted wants me out here to find out something about himself. And I knew in doing that for him, I'd learn something about myself. Oh. Show us the scars, then. Jeez. <laughs> I saw you making fire. You saw me making fire? From the other side of the lagoon. You sneaky fire. Huge respect for you, EJ. You got a friend for life. You have as well. Count on me. I appreciate that, mate. Thank you. <laughs>